Taurus. So this is going to be a love reading for you guys from January the 23rd through January the 30th. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Your cards are flipping out of the deck like <laughs> left and right. All right. So let's just jump in, Taurus, because your cards are just flipping all over the place. All right, so, so far we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. I feel like someone is taking their time coming towards you, could be an Earth sign, such as yourself, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, and you're not quite sure what to do about the situation. Someone is moving extremely slow, or someone is focused on their money. I also see here with the nine of swords, there's worry, fear, and anxiety. You may be feeling like you're over giving to this person and you may be trying to find a way to pull back your energy because you feel like um, even though this person makes you happy, it's like something that they're taking their time coming into you and you're tired of it. You feel like you're just overdoing something. You're giving too much to this person. So let's see where this is going. Yeah. I feel like with the five of wands, you and this person get into a lot of arguments and you don't know where it comes from. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, and you guys argue a lot, but there's a lot of love between the two of you. And so when things are good, things are great, okay? But then when things get really bad, you may not know how to come out of the energy. We also have the world card in reverse. We have Scorpio energy here, but I also see with the world in reverse that this person is not going anywhere. They really love you. So they're not going to end this cycle. This cycle is going to continue with you and whoever this is. Someone is extremely emotional about you. There's a lot of lust in this connection. It could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. There's a lot of like... Uh, feelings that this person has for you but i feel like you guys have a lot of toxic energy as well i feel like the toxic energy taurus comes from when you guys get into like a disagreement in an or an argument it's like you guys don't know how to make up with each other it's like you don't know how to come back together that's what i'm seeing here maybe this person gets stubborn or you get stubborn so we have the hierophant here your energy coming out so I feel like this is something that was once a committed situation or so you thought it was. And now you feel like things are like up in the air. You don't know where you stand with this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus from January 23rd to January the 30th? What messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus for January 23rd to January 30th? Yeah, you're asking yourself, should you continue to invest in this with the Seven of Pentacles? I feel like you've given a lot to this person. Maybe you help them out a lot financially. You could help them out with their children. Um, maybe you see yourself with them as a family, but you're wondering if they see the same thing. Spirit, what messages do you have? The Nine of Wands. You're very guarded when it comes to this person. I feel like you don't trust them. You may feel like this person is cheating or they have someone that, um, some type of third party situation. I'm sorry, one moment. This card just flipped on the floor. Yeah, look at that. High Priestess, I spoke it up. Secrets, you feel like this person is holding back? Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Some of you feel like regretful. It's like you're regretting giving to this person or loving them. I feel like when this person makes you angry, things get stuck could be dealing with a Pisces or things are like stuck in the connection right now where things aren't moving forward it's like this person may not be coming towards you you're not coming towards them you guys may not be talking you're waiting for them to talk they're waiting for you to talk so there's a lot of stubborn energy here spare what messages do you have for Taurus Leah look at that both of you guys are guarded you're guarded, this person's guarded. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And when things are good between you and this person, I just feel like there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of love, um, and a lot of chemistry. But when things go wrong, it's like you guys don't know how to get it back right. All right, so this card just flipped on the floor. Actually, there was two of them. All right, so this person is coming back towards you because we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Three of Cups. So they're trying to figure out a way to make things right with you, Taurus. And I feel like you don't know that. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus for January 23rd through January 30th? Yeah. You're thinking about walking away from this. And they're thinking about coming back towards you. <laughs> like, you're ready to walk away. You're going to get a message from this person. If you haven't already, messages are going to come in. Could be a younger fire sign that you're dealing with. And you feel like this person's immature. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. You want the Ten of Pentacles with this person. Or I feel like some of, for some of you, your money is about to increase. Or your money has increased and this person sees it. Oh my God, these incense are like really bothering me. Um... I feel like, give me one second, Taurus, I'm sorry. I feel like with this person that you're dealing with, Taurus, you um, you may be focused on your work right now. You may not even be focused on them, and that may be bothering them. Spirit, what message? Okay, yeah. This person is thinking about taking a leap of faith towards you. It could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, somebody is making a decision to come in. Could be a Libra or a Scorpio. But if not, with the justice and judgment, they've made the decision that they want to come towards you. They want something to balance out. Some of you are dealing with an air sign here. I keep seeing air energy. Look, Gemini, the lovers, some of you are dealing with the Gemini and you're trying to figure out, is this the person for you? Because I feel like you and this person, you're not as compatible as you want to be, but you love them and you know that they love you and you guys have fun together. But it's something about this person. Like when you guys get into arguments, you automatically think that the connection is over. And it's like, you think to yourself, like, why do I always think that this connection is over when we get into an argument? And that's because you guys don't know how to compromise with each other. I feel like even though you guys are not as compatible as you want to be, the universe is trying to tell you that this is the person for you, but it's not going to be easy. There's going to be work involved. So I feel like the universe is trying to ask you through this reading, are you willing to stick this out with this person? Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, this person is extremely um, emotional about you. We have the Sun card here. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. We also have the Hermit card, Virgo energy as well. So I feel like someone pulls back. If you're not dealing with a Virgo, they pull back and they become distant and then they confuse you and you don't know what's going on. And then this person comes towards you and then they're like emotional and they want your attention. And you're like, listen, make up your mind. What do you want? Are you going to pull back from me? Are you going to be distant and cold and aloof? Or are you going to come towards me? Are you going to love me to death and give me attention or affection? Like, I feel like they confuse you with that. Because it's like you're very grounded, Taurus. And it's like you don't deal with shit like that. It's like either you're going to love me or not. You don't deal with the confusion of emotions. Yeah, some of you are walking away from an air sign or you're wanting to. But you're not ready. There's going to be some delays. You're not going to leave this person or this person is not going to leave you with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like something is going to transpire here where things start over and you guys try to move forward. We have Aries energy here as well. And then we also have the Seven of Cups. So some of you may have more than one option and you're trying to figure out like, do I stick with this person or do I walk away from them and go towards someone else? Spare, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus for January 23rd through January 30th? Wow, all right. I was about to say that's too many, but I'm going to go ahead and take it because it was four. So we have the page of pentacles, the chariot. There's going to be forward movement. I'm telling you, this person is not letting go of you, Taurus. Like, and if you want to let go of this person, you're going to have to walk away because they're not going to walk away from you. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer. This person is coming back in. They know that they were juggling their energy or they were juggling you with someone else, but there's going to be some sort of storm that this person goes through that they don't see coming. Because look at their faith, their their face. It's like right behind them. Like the water is really choppy. Um, it's like there's some sort of something looks like really strange behind them where they don't see like in the water behind them. Like there's some sort of energy of an eruption or um, some type of stormy energy coming in while they're juggling. 
and I feel like they may go through something with someone else that they're dealing with. If you're dealing with someone who's married or in another committed situation, they may go through some go through something with someone else and then come your direction. And you may have to make a decision whether you want to continue to deal with this person or not. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? I feel like some of you definitely are focused on your money, though. You're not even really focused on this person. It's like you're working on something. Look at that. Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. Some of you have new love coming your direction. You're going to have to make a decision between someone old and someone new is what I'm getting here. Because there's a lot of love coming your direction, Taurus. But the funny thing is, Taurus, I don't even feel like you care. <laughs> or if, I don't know if, you, if it's that you don't care or if you're not focused on it or you wanted this one person at, at a specific time and things did not plan out the way you wanted them to. So now you're like, you know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to focus on me. Yeah, because we have the strength card here. So for some of you, it's a Leo. And then we have the Six of Wands. So victory is going to be yours regardless of what it is that you go through. Or regardless of who it is that you choose, you're going to be victorious. Because we have success and victory here with the Six of Wands. Could be a fire sign that you choose. Could be a Leo. Oops, sorry about that. I kicked the camera. All right, so let's get some message cards. And let's see what the universe has to say about you and this person. Uh, like all these cards just fall out of the deck i can't take them all there's that was too many spirit what messages do you have for taurus what do they need to know about their person what is their person feeling and thinking spirit what messages what messages do you have for taurus for january 23rd through january 30th somebody is being stubborn is it you taurus being stubborn your cards won't even come out look at that i love you I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. Don't lose hope. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the three. So we have clueless. Honestly, I don't even know what I did wrong. Maybe you'll tell me. I feel like someone's gonna come back acting like they're confused about the situation. Um, knowing that they did something to you to piss you off, Taurus. We also have undecided. Honestly, I don't know what I want. Not sure if I want a relationship. And then we have focus on yourself. So I feel like that's what you're doing. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know about their person? What is their person feeling and thinking? Differences. Like I said, maybe we're just too different to make the relationship work. And then we have fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. Your person is not giving up on you. Mm -mm. We have freedom. I want the freedom to pursue my own happiness right now. And then we have late nights. Thoughts of you keep me up at night. Even if I fall asleep, I dream of you. This person acts like they want their freedom, Taurus. And then late at night, they're thinking about you and then they're fighting it. It's like they don't want to call you or text you. They want you to reach out to them. I feel like both of you guys are being stubborn with each other. Whoever this is, Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Taurus? What is their person feeling and thinking? What is... Taurus, listen, your person, oh my God, I said I was not going to laugh at your reading. Your person is near the breaking point. It's like I'm reaching my breaking point. I feel pushed to make a decision. This person is stressing out over you. They're stressing out over you, Taurus. All right, so let's get one more. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What is their person feeling and thinking? Oh my goodness. Burdens. I've been feeling overwhelmed. I have a lot going on in my life right now. And then we have dying love. I was trying to remain hopeful, but I feel you slipping away. This person feels like you don't want to be with them anymore, Taurus. But they're not giving up. They still want to be with you. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cries Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.